All right, this is take 362 of Relationship um, Ideals. I'm Eden. My name's Dylan. Hi, my name is Kendall. Hi, I'm Daryl. What is up, Grace Youth? It is me, Jesse Carrion, and I'm here with the gang, and we are going to be explaining our top 10 things we would love in a spouse. So mine are, uh, she's gotta be God-driven. You know, it can't really work a relationship if God's not in the center of it. So, you know, I don't really, I wouldn't want anything other than that. Number one, I have thoughtful. Think of me sometimes, it'd be kind of appreciated. She has to be God-fearing. Know the Lord, too. There's a difference between being a Christian and knowing the Lord. Someone who would come to church with me and respect the Lord. She's gotta be like 5'2", five, 5'3", five, you know? As a 5'7", dude, she's gotta be 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, and you know, she's gotta be respectful to her parents, to me, to my parents, my family. You know, I, I really need that in a relationship because if not, then there's gonna be nothing there. You gotta be loyal and trustworthy. If I can't trust you to just be by yourself somewhere, then then it's not gonna be a good relationship. Well, I'm someone who will listen to me. If you just don't listen to me, then it's not gonna work out because I'm gonna, I'm gonna wanna be in charge. Oh. The whole Ooh. thing. Ooh. Like, Ooh. She's dominant. Though. Like. Oh. She's the man. She's the man. <laughs> but number two is trustworthiness, just because if without trust, how are you gonna have a relationship? For sure, she can't, like, she can't be Salvadorian. That's like, that's a non-negotiable. They'd be crazy. Right. They, they be crazy sometimes, bro. My mama, they crazy, they crazy. Someone who has a good heart and has good looks, cause if you're ugly, then I don't know. Cause I'm pretty, so what do y'all get? You gotta be selfless, not selfish, selfless. She has to for sure love the Lord, cause if you don't love the Lord, how can you love me? Come on somebody, I need the house is praying. Come on, clap that up, clap it up. Honesty, I feel like there's a difference between trustworthiness and honesty because you can trust someone, but if they're not being honest, like, you can still try to give them your trust, but if they're not honest, it's just, here's your trust. And you know, she's gotta be funny. She's gotta make me just <laughs> laugh like uh, Sh Shrek and Donkey, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Someone who is taller than me, cause if you're short, then yeah. <laughs> Compassion, whatever you do, just have fun. Number four is respect, like respectfulness. That's to like, like family, friends, it's like, if you can't respect my friends, or me, or my parents, it's like, there's no way a relationship's gonna work. So she for sure has to um, love her parents and respect them, obviously. You know, she's, she's gotta have the same music taste as me. If she doesn't, there's gonna be some problems. I don't think it's a deal breaker, but... Someone with good style, because if you don't have style, then... Well, you're gonna be for the streets, apparently. You gotta be humorous. I gotta be able to laugh at you. If I can't laugh, it's dead. Be selfless, and that's um, that's not only with like um, that's like being selfless in like what you do, like being there for others, like um, going the extra mile just to really show like your heart. She has to have a good community. She has to be in a small group. You gotta like the same food as me, you know, because we we gotta grub. I can't be arguing over food stuff like that, uh, drinks, etc. Kind-hearted. Um, just to be nice to others. So she has to wear a size nine so we can like, and men, so that way we can like, you know, wear the same shoes and like, you know what I'm saying? Like she can wear my shoes, I can wear her shoes. So no, we're not spending that much money on shoes. You know, it's an investment. Someone with a good sense of humor, cause if you're not making me laugh, then that's not, that's not good. You gotta be motivated in whatever you do, whether working out, eating something, you gotta be motivated. You gotta be very thoughtful, you know, gifts, uh, you know, love language, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Yada, yada, yada. Responsibility, um, just for you to be responsible for, for your stuff. I know like we all have different priorities in life and if you're in school and if you're, or you're, you have work to do and like, I need you to stay on top of your stuff. She has to have clean hygiene. She can't be stanky. She can't, uh-uh, don't do those things. <laughs> do those things. Um, you gotta be beautiful. You cannot be ugly. That's just, yeah, you just, just, just cannot be ugly. Hold me accountable and also um, be able to be held accountable. So I need to be able to hold you accountable and you need to be able to hold me accountable so that we can both equally work through our relationship and make it work. You know, great great teeth, great teeth. You know, I, I would I would love it. You know, it's just pearly whites, you know, great pictures, you know what I mean? You gotta be passionate on what you do, basically. She has to have a good 401k because I'm not paying all of retirement. You have to have a good 401k. You have to be set up for success. Come on now, I'm not, all right. Communicative, um, having good communication skills. Um, you know, it makes, I mean, that's how everything works. Um, talk about what's wrong, I'll tell you what's wrong. We talk about it, we work it out. We hold each other accountable. Loyal. 
loyal. You know, I, I need that. that, that that's just self-explanatory. Someone who will walk with me through my spiritual journey. And I'll walk through with theirs, of course. If you, if you laid everything, mm. And the last one, with, it mean, communication works and all, but you have to be a good listener for communication to work. And then last, last of all, last of all, she's gotta have a kind, loving heart. Because I need like that love and affection. Um, you gotta be thoughtful in, in the things you do. Like you're just going here just doing stuff, just, just to have fun and not having thought in it. And then, uh, And lastly, she has to, um, be intentional with everything that she does, especially for the kingdom. So that's say the best for last. Boom, there we go. So if you don't got that, if you got all of those things, hey, my DMs are open. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>